This is our urban adventure. LBC residents have many choices when it comes to eating healthy. In this first segment, we explore the vegan foodie scene. I first stopped by Steamed with my friend Ken, a longtime vegetarian. Are you hungry, Ken? I'm very hungry. Uh, the LBQ. It's got a little bit of everything in it. have a vegan cheese oh. and you can do that in replace of any cheese that we have so you can make any of our quesadillas vegan by doing no sour cream and the vegan <laughs> when people seem to really care about making your food and, and care about the ingredients and can, it's just you can feel the love I think, I think so it's that way all the way around he spoke to me about how hard it was to be a vegetarian in the past. I started in my very early 20s, 20, 21, 22, something like that. So it's been more so than 30 like years. years. Yeah, oh. like 5, 10 years. <laughs> it's been like 30 plus years. It's a lot easier now than it used to be. You can eat vegan. If you're in Southern California anyway, it's everywhere. Everybody offers something. So was your meal satisfying, Kim? I hated it. It was terrible. <laughs> it was really good. The Grain Cafe has just opened a second location in Belmont Heights. Featuring 100% vegan Mexican food. The Fiesta plate for two looked amazing. This is the mole. I think this is the chili. You know, this is the uh, not chicken enchilada. <laughs> and to complete your meal, they have beautiful vegan desserts. The hip pea on Retro Row is vegan falafel. Yeah, my name is Christian. I'm one of the owners here of the Hippie. Uh, my partner is Vered, and she's the Israeli side of our falafel house here. And uh, it was just kind of her dream of hers to, uh, to open a falafel shack, just like you would find out there in Israel or in the Middle East. We do our own falafel, we do our, hum our own hummus, uh, in-house, everything's done in-house. How we present it here is three ways. It's either pockets, cones, or boxes. No matter how you get it, or what you choose, you'll get falafel one way or the other. sauces here. We feature a pickled mango sauce called Amba and it's kind of like a curry because of the turmeric in it. If you want to make it a spicy hummus, we have Shata which is a Middle Eastern style red pepper sauce. This is our regular tahini uh, and uh, this is like garlic, lemon, what you like in tahini and it's a thicker style of it because most places dilute it. Kind of a cheaper version and we, we're, we don't hold out on our tahini here. Where there is a lot of, there is a huge vegan presence, and uh, uh, and we're happy that we can serve that community as well, serve everyone else. Next, we visited Sura, Korean barbecue and tofu house. Brandon and Claire spoke to us about some of their vegan dishes. Maybe 
Bop. It's not fusion per se, but it's we've we've adapted um, vegan version of it. So we put tofu in it. And I've actually never seen another restaurant that has Pibing Bop with cute tofu in it. That's one of the things that you can get here as a vegan customer. Good mix of veggies. This is seasoned shiitake mushroom. Here's that seasoned bean sprouts. Top it off with some tofu. And on to the fire. For non vegans, they can add an egg. It's, it's sizzling hot. <laughs> yeah, the name of the dish is called bibimbap and it actually means mixed rice. So this is a vegan dish. We use sliced shiitake mushrooms. That's our vegan aioli with it. This would be like your typical Korean spread at a table. Ahemsa, in the East Village, is a vegan restaurant with a fun, bohemian vibe. My friend Lauren got the veggie BLT with tempeh bacon. And I got the delicious kale bowl. Under the Sun is a beautiful new restaurant in downtown. It offers Long Beach raw vegan food. I'm the owner of Under the Sun uh, Raw Vegan Cafe here in Long Beach, California, and also Rainbow Juice is right next door, so if you ever get the craving for something really healthy, organic, delicious, and raw, come visit us here. Um, I love being in Long Beach. I love downtown. I love how things are changing and growing every single day. We've got new amazing local food, which I'm a huge supporter of. You'll see in our marketplace a lot of local um, vendors and people doing teas and herbal blends. We have delicious desserts, we have breakfast. It's really good. We had to drive to LA to go find a lot of the foods that we wanted to eat. And because we are very um, pure and raw and organic and we love getting uh, food from the farmer's market, it's a lot of care that goes into making these products. So we make absolutely everything that goes into it. So if you see a raw wrap, we made the wrap. We made the sauce that goes in it. It is all raw vegan. We took the time to make the salsa, the cheese, even a cultured cheese, and everything that goes into all of our items. It is a, a truly a passion from the heart. And finally, you have to check out Seabirds. Originally started in Orange County, it's the latest vegan restaurant in Long Beach. The purple potato taquitos are the ball, but everything they make is amazing. Hi, we're Alice and Steve from Our Urban Adventure. Thank you for watching the show. For more information about our show and Long Beach, go onto our website, oururbanadventure.com. Thanks for watching.